Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of our C-Matic drive modes and how we can adjust them on our Cebus machines. So you now join me back up in the cab of our Cebus C-Matic machine looking at some of the settings that we can make in relation to our transmission. So firstly, what different drive modes do we have? Well we have three to pick from on our C-Matic machines. We have our auto mode, we have our drive stick mode and we have a manual mode. We can change between our auto mode and our drive stick mode by using this mode button that we see here. One press to change from either automatic or another press to change back to joystick. Now what do those two modes do for us? Well firstly in automatic mode we have our acceleration and deceleration of the machine all on our pedal down here on the, on the foot. On our joystick then, we have an engine braking effect available to us. So for example, if we think about road work with a trailer on behind, what we can then do coming down a little bit of a hill is we can pull back our joystick to engage a ratio on the transmission that will firstly maintain the forward speed that we're doing. And if we then further hold the joystick back, it will slow down the machine without using our tractor brakes. If we have our auto stretch brake, that will come into play here, but we'll have a look at that in more detail in another video. Our second mode then, and our joystick mode, this gives us our acceleration and deceleration of the machine all on our joystick. So we can accelerate forward by pushing forward and decelerate by pulling back, okay? We can then seamlessly change to our pedal without the press of a button. So for example, we can use our pedal for acceleration and deceleration while we're on the road, then once we get into the field, we can switch straight across to our joystick without pressing the button. But obviously we don't have that engine braking effect available to us at this time. So the last drive mode that we have available to us on our C-Matic machines is manual. Now this is only activatable through our transmission menu. So we use our right hand menu cluster, we come into transmission and we pop down then into our transmission settings. In here we can see we have our different drive modes. So firstly you can see we can change between our automatic and our drive stick mode that we looked at a moment ago. And we also have available to us our manual mode. When we have manual mode selected, we have the RPM of the engine available on the foot throttle and we have the forward speed of the machine available on the joystick. Again, maybe not the most advisable setting, but if the certain conditions require it, it is available for us to use as well. So, thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.